This is a 1951 Ford F1, and we're gonna take it for a quick spin. This is uh, the best, hands down, the best driving F1 I've had in a couple of years. Um, and I've actually had a dealer plate on it, and I've been driving it around. Uh, even took it for about an hour and a half drive a couple days ago. So I'm gonna just take it for a drive. And I don't even, normally I have on a manual transmission, I've got somebody holding the camera for me. But uh, I'm gonna do the camera myself. This is a uh, original 239 flathead V8 truck with a three speed on the column. And uh, there's my finger sticking up there. I kind of like to do that to show, kind of call it my finger test for steering. But take a look at the line on the road and then my finger. That's about how much, um, you know, a little bit of play that it has in the steering wheel. Very, very minimal, especially for a truck this age and being original uh, drivetrain and suspension and everything. This truck just drives super nice and straight. Easy to steer. Pop that in reverse real quick. Just back up a little bit here. All right, there we go. This is one of the quietest engines. And it's so quiet. Actually, probably could stand to turn that idle down just a little bit. You can hear it. I mean, unbelievable. No exhaust leaks. I thought the idle was just a hair low earlier and I adjusted it right before I did this video and now it's acting like it's just a touch high. So sometimes you can't wait for losing, but it's a real easy, real easy adjustment. Headlights work, tail lights and brake lights are all work. They were just troubleshot and redone. Really, really just wonderful um, running engine. I can't get over how well it runs. It does not overheat. I took it for like I said about an hour and a half drive. The other day never went over 170 degrees um and it's here it's hot here in atlanta that was a that was a hot day here in atlanta georgia um really really impressed with this truck this is a pretty farm truck um older restoration i call it a farm truck i'd call it a driver it's an original like i said 33 uh 239 uh flathead with a three speed on the column Overall, the body's really straight. A couple of spots, uh, I can tell, um, you know, after the restoration was done, somebody accidentally backed into the side of the garage. The previous owner told me, and they tried to do a little bondo and just patchwork on that. Um, just because, you know, hey, we had just gotten done with the restoration and we were kind of all done with it. So, a um, couple of spots. And this would have been about uh, 20 years ago. So, overall, let me get real close up on it now because it's really easy to make them look good in the pictures. But... When you get right up on it, overall this front fender is nice and straight. It's got a little uh, pop here, some body work there. Um, other than that, it looks really good. The hood's in really good condition, nice and straight and rust free. The vent pops open and closes easily from the inside and the glass is in good shape. All the glass on this truck is in good shape and the windows roll up and down easily. A couple of small bubbles here in the front of the door. I think that's consistent on both sides, but the bottoms of the doors are in good shape other than that, not rusted out. Cab corners are original and still in really good, good condition. Sides of the bed are nice and straight, no dings or dents on the outside. 
and this is the fender where it got backed in you can see a couple of scratches um, and a couple of spots this is the worst of it where you can see there was a dent and some bondo filler there so but there this is this would be an awesome truck honestly this would be an awesome truck to just drive it like it is spend a little bit of money if you wanted to and fix those things or spend a little bit more money and really blast this truck down give it a new paint job and take it to the next level nice straight tailgate wood bed that is an older wood bed but uh with a good sanding job and a recoating um, it's actually in fantastic condition that looks good underneath we're going to go underneath the truck in a minute this fender over here is nice and straight and you can see the body lines are just really straight all the way around side of the bed same thing nice and straight on the side of the bed like i said on the other side cab corners in great shape bottoms of the doors look good except for these couple of small holes or bubbles just right there this fender is in good shape as well nice and straight and a little bit of paint and humidity pop there that is not bondo that's actually that's actually nice and solid underneath so this is you know the paint job is showing its age but it's it, from 20 feet away it looks awesome so a couple of other little things like the indicator light over here is broken that's original it's so tender but they make the replacement parts for it and it's not hard to you know go through and do those things that you want to do i love the 51 52 grill i like the 48 through 50 grill as well but the 51 and 52 they just they only made them for those two years really really iconic look original v8 truck doors open and close easily listen to them shut nice and solid and like I said, bottoms of the doors are in good shape. This is the only spots I've, other spots I've seen, and, and the hinge pockets are in good shape, and that's one place where I get real concerned. But way down here below, a little spot here that could be patched real, real easy. There is a hole there, and I believe that's true for both sides. Other than that, good looking door. Um, original dash with the radio plate. Um, and like I said, I've never seen the temperature gauge get above about right about there, about 165, 170. Oil pressure on the truck's real good. And that's how they idle like that. So you got really good oil pressure there. A um, couple of other things too. Let's see the blower. Um, that's oh, you got the little fan. Yeah, there's your heater blower, which is working. So your heater works and then this is a little fan up here which also works and that is a nice little thing half somebody put that in a long time ago uh, it does has it has had an upgraded electric fuel pump put in old um, original style seat cover that's in good shape you can see where I've been sitting there but it's in good shape with no rips or tears looks like it was reupholstered you know 20 years ago with the rest of the truck and there's some weather stripping and a few other little extra odds and ends there. It does look like this is the first time I've ever seen it, this before in one of these trucks. That's actually a, uh, like a custom speaker holder. And that's a really cool putting a radio back in here, maybe hiding it in the glove box. It'd be cool to attach that. Well, before I run too long on this video, let me get down underneath the truck. These step ups have them replaced with fiberglass step ups. But those are the original um, cab corn. You can see that the inside has a rust hole there, but the outside's in good shape. These are the original floor pans. They've never been patched. There's no patches. There's no cuts. There's no rust. I mean, you've got surface rust, sure, but I'm just really, really impressed with how clean um, and very minimal, minimal rust that this truck has. You know, spots like this on a lot of these trucks are all rusted out and bubbled, and this one looks great. Inner fender wells are in. Now, it looks like this fender was replaced with a fiberglass fender as well. It's got a spare tire that looks new. All these tires are in really good shape. They're older tires, but they've got great tread on them. This is an original steel fender. So they had not replaced this one. They left this one steel and they did put a fiberglass one when they did the other side. And a lot of guys are doing that because, you know, with fiberglass, you don't ever have to worry about rust. And if you you know if you get in a little accident or pop a hole in it you can fix it with fiberglass and you're doing the right thing again on this side 
nice um, original and I'm going upside down with the camera there just to show you that the inside of that cab corner is rusted out the outside of the cab corner is original you can see that that's not a replacement it's freaking awesome I'm always impressed when I find these original cab corners because it's pretty rare to find them without rust in them nice clean inner front inner fender wells really enjoyed driving this truck I love these this is uh, in our family see how clean and rust free these front fender wells are in our family these are the uh, probably the favorites the f the 50s early 50s model Ford and Chevy trucks are both favored in our home and I just really love the lines of this truck and like I said here I am standing maybe 12 feet away from it 15 feet away and it's a good looking truck I mean I know it looks really good in the pictures it looks good in person when you get right up on it I pointed out um, as many of the flaws as I can think of one other real quick thing is it does have a little spot where it got a pop paint pop on the top but if you'll notice the top is nice and straight so so in my world you know a good body guy could go around and a good paint guy could go around for under a thousand dollars and probably do all the touch-ups buff the truck out and and make it look good for five six hundred dollars you know fix those few little spots or obviously if you want to go all the way with it spend two or three grand blast it down fix a couple of the little rusty spots put a you know do a color match and put a fresh paint job on this thing then you're going to get up into the twenty thousand dollar range with this truck really really quick these trucks are just really really bringing the money it's harder and harder to find them under 20 grand and i'm doing my best to keep our business model specializing driver quality vehicles under twenty thousand dollars so this is a really beautiful truck it's a hell of a deal um and i know somebody's just going to really enjoy it i'm going to miss it i've really enjoyed driving it it's like i said earlier one of the best driving trucks i've had in a very long time drives great also new brake um brakes have been serviced and new brake lines i forgot to mention that